I'm Kate McCullough at 107 Fairbairn Drive. And the reason I'm here is I attended the uh, Planning Commission meeting as far as the situation with the landlock property on 107 Fairway Landings Drive. Number one, the question I have for the board is, I provided a letter to you today that was hand-delivered on June 24th. When can I expect a response? Give me a second to look at the letter. I don't know. Well, it was sent to John Genuso. Yeah. Well, his name is Don Genuso. I did say Don. I did say John. Yeah. Um, I don't recall seeing this, so. Well, it was hand delivered, and I brought it to um, the building here on the 24th. Once I gave it to the receptionist, I'm not responsible where it went. Okay. Um, we can take a look at it and, and okay. get a response to you, but at this point, I haven't seen it until then. Okay. Now, uh, last meeting on August 5th, I raised the issue of a conflict of interest with your solicitor, Gretchen Moore. And uh, Ms. Moore was very articulate in that she was not violating the code of conduct for a lawyer. I have what's a conflict of interest. And when I informed her in various emails that she had a conflict, she had an obligation to inform the board here of that conflict. Were you ever informed of that? It's called advised consent. I do not have a conflict of interest. Okay. Thank you. Okay, now. The next thing that I want to bring to the board's matter is I did raise with Ms. Moore what her role was at the Strasburg Law Firm. And she said to me that what was I angling for, I wanted to know if she was just a shareholder or an officer. She did not answer my question. I have it that Gretchen Moore is not just a shareholder. She's the vice president and an officer of the Strasburger Law Firm. May I give you that information? Sure. Please note that the last person on the page is the vice president. The secretary is David Strasberger. Also, the reason that I'm raising this is, when was Gretchen Moore hired as solicitor here? Can anybody give me a year? 16. 16. 2016. Okay, well, did Ms. Moore... 2017. 2017. So, so it's been, what, two years? And would it have happened at the organization meeting in January? This is the third year. So okay. okay. When you hired Miss Moore, did she inform you that the Strasburger Law Firm is involved in a $450 million case where she, her firm, and the PNC Bank are in a litigation for a $450 million trust of the SCAFE children being bled to zero to keep the Tribune Review open? I'm not sure how any of this has anything to do with the township, and if you're referring to stuff that is in the public record in the newspaper, then so be it, and all of that is in the newspaper. That particular That's lawsuit. right, Ms. Moore, and here's the problem that I have. I've turned PNC Bank into the IRS because of actions. Also, Judge Strasberger, who was also with your firm, actually involved himself in a case involving me. So by you preparing, any document concerning me is a conflict of interest. There's one more thing I want to provide to the board, which that is that a conflict of interest with public officials is a felony offense. Here's section 1103 and 1109, the penalties for a conflict of interest. The last point I would like to make is 
When I went before your planning commission, Walter Krasnesky works for, I believe it's Stahl Schaefer Engineering, and he also worked for SAI. You had a resolution here about having the township manager having signature rights with PennDOT and Turnpike. You have a chairman of your planning commission that does work for PennDOT and Turnpike Commission. That's a conflict. You also have Lauren Anderson, Director of Technical Affairs for the Marcella Shale uh, Coalition. That's also a conflict. He's basically a lobbyist. And then you're having planning commission matters going before him. The last one is Jason Crutt. He's a safety director for Centimark. That's a, that's a roofing company. And all this new uh, construction here in South Point and everywhere else, he's conflicted as well. No wonder you have an issue with all these things. You have a solicitor here that, why was it Gail Gutnick and the Strasburger Law Firm allowed to do what they did? They never recognized their conflict of interest as well with the Skate family. Okay. And she's what made... Mr. Chairman? Ms. Madam Chairman, I mean... It's a, I understand her, her plight. I know it's a, a, a property issue, but I don't see how this has anything to do with the township business. It has everything to do with the township business, sir, because you have a conflicted attorney rendering yeah, opinions for this. Yes, yes, the addressed that, uh, and, and, and I object to her. Uh, um, she basically standing I agree with your objection. Ms. Mahola, if you have something that is township related, we're happy to hear it, but if there's an issue... Well, this is where I'm going with this. Under a quote warrant petition, I can go to the Attorney General's office and the local district attorney's office about the conflicts that you have here, and that is an action that can remove all of you that are conflicted from office. So the reason I'm bringing this to the township residence official is you have been breaching the Sunshine Act for the state of Pennsylvania. You have executive sessions violating the law. There is criminality involved. And I'm going to give you the last one from the Office of Open Records. Then you see how you're running these meetings. You're expecting people to sit here while you're passing on resolutions without telling them a dollar amount of what it's going to cost. That's one last one and I'm leaving. Good. Thank you. And you can all be removed from office Good. and I'm going to lead the charge to do it. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions or any other comments before